Hey, one thing that messed me up in shopping is forgetting to buy my spices and I'm forgetting this time because I don't, I didn't make a list and I'm not sure what kind of spices I need and I'm not menu planning. I get stuff and mostly I eat salad and stuff. Mm -hmm. This you definitely stay away from frozen foods. But um I, I got mostly what I eat like lettuce and, and I juice a lot. So so um one reason why it's hard to stick to a plant-based diet is because of the flavor. You need your <clears throat> what those ice cream sandwiches. Woo. Anyway, you need your um, you need your spices. Cause yesterday I made quinoa, but I mean I had got desperately hungry. And I had opened a can of corned beef hash, I say ashamedly. And um, I didn't have any spices for the quinoa. And I had quinoa with mushrooms in there and some onions. I don't know. It was a leftover dish I just threw in there. And um, it was quite good, but there was no spices. So I just went ahead and threw the corned beef hash in there. And I almost ate myself to life. I ate a great big bowl and I didn't have any room left for a salad, so I ate the salad this morning. Anyway, nobody cares about all that. What I'm saying is you gotta make sure you spice your food, right? I was listening to Eric Adams this morning. I really admire him for reversing his health condition. But um, he said his first week food was horrible then after that it got better <laughs> he learned quick fast and in a hurry I've been on my journey for a long time my husband won't eat my food so I need to um, spice it up a little bit and then we could save money okay loves just a little something something